Hey guys, it's Friday and I think I'm going to get this video up tonight along with another video I filmed earlier in the week. I started work again this week which means I have less time and get less sleep than normal and I'm constantly tired. So um, I work today and I'm really tired right now. I had to pretty much force myself to film this. So hopefully this video turns out okay and I'm just not like a completely tired boring person in the whole thing. I am extremely glad it's Friday and I don't have to work this weekend. I don't have to work again until Tuesday so I will get time to sleep this weekend and that makes me incredibly happy. My diocese, which is, I'm, I'm Catholic as I've mentioned several times before, and basically you have a group of churches that form like a diocese. It's kind of like a county, state-like thing. Um, if you've heard of a bishop, the bishop is in charge of the diocese. That's basically what it is. But anyway, our diocese has a scholarship that it gives out every year. And two kids get it from, I'm not sure if it's every church. I'm pretty sure it's every church in the diocese. Um, a boy and a girl gets it. And so each church chooses which kids from their parish will get it. And I am getting the one for the girl for, because my class, the ones that are Catholic, I'm the only girl that attends church every weekend and that's one of the requirements. Everyone else in my class who's Catholic goes I, either never or just occasionally. And I'm the only one that goes to church regularly and I do things at church not often but more than anyone else. So I get that. It's funny because the um, boy who's getting it for our church um, also doesn't do a whole lot. He does some, but he's one of only like two guys that actually attends church every week. So that was a small group to choose from, but I, I'm not complaining since it means I get it. So, but I just found out about it yesterday and I have to have four letters of recommendation by next Friday, which isn't a problem because since my church is choosing it, one of the letters has to be from our priest or um, ch youth director or I can't remember who else. One has to be from them and our priest is writing it and then the other one has to be someone else in the parish but our, um, I don't know what to call her, but someone else who works in our parish office, I'm not entirely sure what her actual title is, is writing it um, and then my parents have to write one and then I had to get one by a teacher. So the others weren't a problem since it's my parents and the church people who actually chose me for it who had to write it. But the teacher, I was kind of worried to go ask her. It's the same teacher I asked for my college recommendation I needed. And I felt bad asking her for to write it in one week. But she ended up writing it today. And actually, she found my sister at the end of school. I guess she couldn't find me, but she saw my sister. And so she gave it to my sister bring to me so I already have the letter which is pretty awesome. All of our classes were shortened today because we had a pep rally at the end of the school day which of course means that we had to have tests today on sh with shortened blocks. I had an AP US history test and a probability and statistics test which I got both of them done okay but I felt I hate taking tests on days where it's shorter because even though we had almost the same amount of time. We didn't have a ton of time taken off. Most of our time was taken off with breaks, which I hate because which I hate because it gives me less time to get my locker and I'm not used to it. And I go to the bathroom a lot during breaks. <laughs> That's kind of embarrassing to admit, but I use the bathroom a lot. Um, and not being able to go is not fun for me. I can't believe I just admitted that in a video. But the probability and statistics test felt like it took forever. It wasn't hard, but we had to do to make it wasn't hard, but we had to make so many graphs and I felt like my head was going to explode by the time I was done. It was one of those tests where like it's not hard, but you just feel like you're working on it forever and you're like tired by the end of the test because you have to do so much if you know what I'm talking about. The pep rally, um, it was better than our usual pep rallies. My school's not exactly incredibly spirited. 
There are some, but overall our pep rallies are usually pretty pathetic. I remember one year, I think it was last year, our football homecoming pep rally, I think, um, the principal actually came out and said something. She said we wouldn't have pep rallies anymore unless we actually stood up and cheered because no one was standing up and cheering. So she threatened never to have pep rallies again if no one stood up and cheered. And then everyone stood up and cheered, but not very enthusiastically. And they were slightly more enthusiastic this time, but still not incredibly enthusiastic, which I have to admit I'm not either. But mine isn't so much that I don't have school spirit, it's that I just don't like yelling and stuff in front of people. I'm too shy and quiet for that, and I feel stupid standing in front of people and screaming and things. So, but I, I have school spirit. I want us to win. I really do, but... Homecoming is tomorrow night, and we're playing our, like, biggest rival, and I didn't realize this. I think I mentioned before, back when it happened, that our, we beat our biggest rival in football for the first time, and I don't know how many years. It was a really long time, and it was the first time we'd beaten them in, like, 20, probably more than 20 years, probably, like, 30 years. I think it was in, like, the 30s or something years since we'd beaten them, and we beat them this year. But when the basketball coach came out to talk at the pep rally, he said stuff about how we've beaten them in a bunch of other sports this year too, which I don't keep up incredibly well on sports, so I don't know who usually wins those sports or if it's pretty even. But we're playing them tomorrow in boys basketball, so hopefully we can beat them and keep that up. I'm, I don't know if I'm going or not. I mean, it's my senior year and it's homecoming. I have been to a total of two basketball games. I think one of them was a tourney I had to work concessions at, and I don't actually know if we played during it because I wasn't paying attention. The other time was also I had to work concessions, but I actually sat down in the game for a little bit and watched it, kind of. <laughs> so it's weird because basketball is actually my favorite sport. I played it for one year. It wasn't good, but I played it for one year. But I've been to like three football games in like freshman and sophomore year, maybe one junior year, I don't remember, but I've barely been to any basketball games, and I went to football homecoming one year. I didn't go to any football games this year. I said I would because it was my senior year, but then I never did because I just don't enjoy going to football games. But I kind of... But I kind of want to go to Basketball Homecoming because it's my senior year and I've never been to Basketball Homecoming. And my friend G is in the court, the Homecoming court. And I mean, it actually is my class this year that's in the court, so I guess that... Kind of, well, I mean, the other classes are in the court, but my class will be king and queen and prince and princess and everything. And G might be queen or princess. Um, let's hope she is. I voted for her. But, um... So I might go since she's in court and I haven't been to basketball homecoming and it's senior year. We'll see if I actually do or not. So I thought that this video was going to be like really hard for me to film because I'm so tired. But I just started ranting and now this video is probably pretty long of me just ranting. So I'm going to go now and I will see you guys later. Bye.